started videoing Fudgy. Okay, okay. Just going to go and bash my laptop a minute because I need to get into said large Mercedes uh, funeral limousine. 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 This is good old Neil's. Um, he needed. He's got three kids, and mm -hmm. his new his girlfriend's got three kids. So they needed six child seats and two front seats. So. I uh, don't know what that's just on about a security centre. We don't want to know about that. No. Um, so, yes, this was Neil's solution to um, a seven, an eight-seater family transport. Why not? Yeah, she hasn't I've, done very many of the miles. I've known a few people with quite large families, let's say six kids. What, that drive round in that ex had ex limousines. Yeah, yeah. A friend of mine, he had a... No, limousine, uh, not a hearse. A, a, couple, a couple of uh, Granada... Oh, uh, yes, yes, I do remember. You don't see those anymore. No, no. I, mean, I think, I think they did end up on the banger track. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I think lots of these did too, funnily enough. <laughs> these are uh, W210s are a bit of a banger racing favourite. But this one's actually quite nice. 320 only done uh, 40,000 miles. Anyway, mm. we had loads of you lot, obviously. Oh, fudge, 60 diesels. Ask us for a day in the life. Why would they want that? Why would that? they want to do that? It's just, yeah, the motor trade is a miserable thing. But luckily enough... I mean, we were going to have a motor trade discussion that we have pulled out of the all day, every day motor trade, or I did the year before COVID. Mm -hmm. So I don't fix Ford Fiestas that you needed back tomorrow. No. I, I, I don't do any of the everyday stuff anymore. I've had 15 years of moaning, non paying. Uh, 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 oh, 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 can, can, I, can I pay for it in two months' time when I get me wages? Yeah, you should have mentioned that bef before you booked it in, and we did a load of work to it. Mm -hmm. And the disappearing off, not owing you money, then the slagging you off, because yeah. we haven't paid you, and if we tell everyone you're a get, then that makes us feel better. The oh. abandoned vehicles? Yep. Yeah. The, the, oh, I'll just leave it here for you to do it, and then we do it, and then you don't pick it up. I think we finally got rid of the Mini after two years. Two years. We? Two years, two yeah, years yeah. she eventually rocked up. Well, she like... rocked up, got, got assaulted by me, and then I paid a recovery <laughs> firm 60 quid to pick her car up and go throw it in her driveway so I didn't have to look at it anymore. You didn't and actually assault. You were pretty calm. No, 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 no I was pretty fair. calm, but you yes, really, but, yes really but basically cool. you, just, you took a year to pay for 275 quid's worth of work, and then moaned about the £300 cost of having your car painted by a professional body shop, which I thought was pretty cheap. That was really cheap. Yes, and then, um, and then left it here for a year, uh, and kept going on about could we just rattle can it, which we kept pointing out your 300 quid would be gone, mm -hmm. and it would be very nice. Mm. And then, I mean, the fact that you bought it back off the insurance company for 50 quid after getting paid out two grand for it, spent the money quite cheerfully, you bent it, we fixed it, and then you didn't want to pay to have it painted. But anyway, that's gone. That's, another, that's one of them stories. Yeah. It? And then I don't think we've got any other long term. Well, we've got Dave's stuff, haven't we? Yeah, Dave's, Dave's going to know about that in a minute because we haven't seen him since September last year. No. And he seems to think I'm a free storage depot. We've got that wrong. Yeah. yeah. But that's another story. So, um, so a day in the life. So I am repairing MO. Well, uh, basically, as I passed the MOT fine. Yep. But it is in limp mode. But it doesn't, luckily enough, show that it's in limp mode. So that was fine for MOT purposes because it does rev up and you can, but it's just not quite right. So I'm going to attempt talking to mm. it, which has been a difficulty before because it is some huge stretch limousine and then it's got a load of different management computers and it gets very excited. Oh. And you're on... I'm on... Uh, yeah. You're I'm on transit. Tran transit. So we move the camera around a bit. Yeah, and then, come and yeah. see what I'm on. Come and see what I'm doing today. So now we've moved over here. You're on so tra tra transit, transit repair. So MOT it, fail. It, MOT failure. So oh, yeah. so the rear bottom arm, the rear bush is a bit Yeah, and we've floppy. just floppy. Uh, yeah, I think he'd actually leave, wouldn't he? That's, that's on its way out. Yes, yeah, I think. <laughs> so, so we were lazy and just bought a lower, lower arm because it was easier. It's easier. Yeah, it's yeah. easier. A lot less hassle. And it's hardly expensive because it's a transit part. So we're waiting on that. So waiting on that. Then we, we'll have to move over here we're gonna to have to move the camera again scoochy scoochies scoochy scoochies and then so you're going back on this is mrs diesel's machine yes and um we've been having issues with the tires falling off of it <laughs> or, or or mrs mrs diesel mrs diesel yeah so basically <laughs> it would appear that at a certain age your Volca, volkswagen sirocco gt tdi blue motion thingamajig that the Volkswagen Twist alley wheels corrode quite badly between the paint and the alley wheels, and the tyres go flat. The TPS monitoring light, if anyone's ever owned a Volkswagen, it's like your friend. It's on all the time. <laughs> um, and uh, 
and then they got the stage where the wheels, the tyres fell off. Yeah. Because then you've got to try and sort, because one, when, when of the, well, there, start again, when one of the tyres fell off in the dark one night, again, mm -hmm. um, after the third attempt at fixing it, Al had to jack it up in the dark in a bit of a grump in a lay-by in the pissing rain to fit the spare, and he managed to bend the sill, which he's been getting aggravation about for a while. So you've got to unbend that. I've got to unbend. You're unbending that. Yeah. I have spent a small fortune. You have. I it's bought four Pirelli P0s for it. <laughs> so it's got four new tyres. They arrived today. Yeah. And then we have taken the alley wheels off. We have. We've got strip tyres. Then we're going down to silver wheels at Ferndown because we decided that by the time we'd rubbed and painted and pissed around with them ourselves, it's like 200 and something odd quid just to just... Like, send um, them off and get Send them, them off. So also it's due a service. Yep. Because um, since Madam now works from home due to the COVID thing and then never going back, it doesn't move very far. So it's definitely overdue a service. It needs the oils changed and then it needs an intelligent shock absorber, which I bought yesterday. Yeah. But I did decide not to buy a new one because they were 430 quid. You bought a new to it. New to it. New well, to yes, it. Yes. So it is off, new. New. To it me. is new. It's, it came off of a, another car, but it works. Yes. The, only, the shock absorber functions perfectly, apart from the electromedugical thing that you can adjust and the light flashes inside. Mm -hmm. So I need to do that. Then you've got to do something with the headlights. I'm going to sort the headlights. All, they've gone all awful. Yeah, I'm going to take those off. And and just to add insult to injury, <laughs> the alternator bathed itself out and now doesn't charge. Yeah. But I reckon I can get that out through here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have a little wager with you on that. I can get I... that out the top. I've already worked this one out. You have? Yeah, well, I need to take all of this off to get those off. Yep. Ah, yeah, once, yeah. yeah. I'll take that out, that, that, out, out. that out, that out, that out, that out, and then the radiator will go off. Blah, 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 blah. Then I'm going to undo the alternator, and if it doesn't come out through here, I'm taking this throttle body, that boost pipe. You scoop chief. And, I, and we're coming through here because yeah, I am not move that. taking that air conditioning pump off. No. No. Or that high pressure fuel pump, and that, no. 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 I, I looked at that and I was like, no. No, because she had a cam belt last year, so she's all good there. Yeah. I mean, it is a top quality rallying machine. She is. It is a lovely. It is a love. I actually really like oh, the car. I hate it. I know you don't like it. It's like being kicked down the road in a noisy dustbin. Do I show you the stupidities of this thing? Go on then, so, Al. Try and open that door in a car park. Yeah, it's, it's impossible. It is big. Some cretin. Then they put a boot handle on it. So you get there with your shopping. You're like, uh, uh, oh no, no, no. That's got a boot handle. So you've either got to lean in the door, pull the popper. Yep. Or Try and balance your shopping whilst holding onto the key to pop it, and then it's rubbish. Just why not put a boot handle on a car? You can't see anything out of it. It's the same as my TT. I've got no boot handle on the back. Yes, yeah, and I know. The, the button do not I mean, work. cars only had boot handles from like the turn of time. Yeah. So there was nothing wrong with that. No, but apart handles. from that, to be honest, it has been a very reliable tool, and Madam mm. loves it. So, anyway, so we'll jolly it up a bit. I think we're going to be a thousand pounds into the machine by the time we've given it back um, and then yeah I mean it did 1200 miles last year or 1000 miles last year so it did not take her a while to wear this set of tyres out it's only had five sets of tyres since we've had it how long have you had it six years six years that's not bad set of tyres a year she's fast she won't admit to it but she's she is, she is fast no, 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 no. She's, she's quite sensible. Quite sensible, yeah. No. <laughs> Doesn't drive angry at all. <laughs> all 180 odd horsepower that this is never gets used. <laughs> so, um, so yes, we'll get Shazbo a wagon thing fixed and then give it back, and that will make me much more popular. Yes. An empty my bank account. What else have we got? I think I've got some more stuff that I'm supposed to be doing. We've got a sprinter that likes leaking coolant. Yeah. Again, I hate the thing. Yeah. I hate the thing. It's been a pest ever since some. Engine rebuild firm at, um, at Gatwick decided to rebuild the engine and then throw every bracket that hold it, held it in and every bolt away. Mm -hmm. And then we have got something else. We've got a Volkswagen LT with a cam belt that's fell off the back. Yeah. It's been sat outside the gate for a week because just because you broke it and dumped it here doesn't mean it gets fixed straight away. We do have problems explaining this to people. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, this is motor trade stuff again, so just for the ones that don't understand right me and him aren't sat here with biscuits and tea waiting 
for you to break something so you can bring it here instantly because you've nosed it up and now it's my problem. Um, we've got to repair it right, right there, there. there. That doesn't happen. So, and the other things, the other end of motor trade annoyances. So when you drop it off, and we're quite good, we like, right, we'll have a look at it and, um, and we'll, uh, we'll get the bits ordered and we'll give you a shout when it's done. Doesn't he work like Don't, that? Doesn't work like that, does it? Hour later. Hey, getting on. Uh, slower. Because mm. I've just had to get out from underneath it to answer the phone to you when I told you I'd phone it when it was when you were fixed or mm -hmm. I knew anything. I'll call you back later. I'll call you back later. When it's fixed. When it's fixed. Or we know what's wrong with it. Yeah. yeah. And then what happens? Hour later. Is it done yet? <laughs> no. No, it's not done yet. You must and have I've, missed the call that I made to you. You must, must have missed the call I made you. And I've also had to get out from underneath it again. And then, 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 then it only gets to the... So they ring you then. And then you think, do you know what? I'm not getting out from underneath it. I'll just let the phone go. I'll answer the phone. And if it's any great problem... And if you, so then we rang it five times in a row. Mm-hmm. Which, funnily enough, sometimes my temper isn't very good, which gets you verbally assaulted by an upset mechanic. Because mm. just because you broke it doesn't make it my problem. No. No. And if you ring me 15 times a day to find out how I'm getting on, I mean, my, my other one is the, um, is the how much is that going to cost before it's even got it? We get that lots. Um, oh, can you tell me what this is going to be to service? Well, I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen it, have I? I mean... And okay. you get the phone calls. My car's broken. Yes. My, what's, oh, what's, 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 what's wrong what with you, it? What do you think could possibly be wrong with it? Well, it's sarcastic broken. replies. <laughs> you, you've fucked it up, haven't you? You've broken it. <laughs> you've broken you've the car. Broken it. Didn't do it itself. You managed that all on your own. <laughs> so, do I know what's wrong with it? No. No, because I haven't seen it, have I? <laughs> And my, um, my spidey senses and stuff just aren't quite that good. I mean, there are occasions where you're like, wobble this, try that, did it do this? That we don't mind a bit of help, mm -hmm. but it is the stupid. Well, how much do you think that's going to cost you? So you don't know why it's broken. I don't know why it's broken. And then what you need me to do is give you a price to fix something. I don't know why it's broken. I haven't seen over the phone so you can moan. But I didn't think it was going to be that much. Mm. I'll YouTube it and fix it myself. Now you've given well, me the... Well, there uh, is, there is. I'm, I'm perfectly up for people having a go. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I do wish quite a lot of them would stop phoning me up on a continuous basis. I am taking my phone number off my Google business page. Because <laughs> um, I don't mind helping out, but there are levels. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, the fact that I've had to buy two mobile phones and change my phone number. Yeah, because say I don't mind a bit of minorists, but sometimes we do get some random ones, don't we? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We do. Yeah. My radio won't work in me Ford Mondeo. Do, do you know what that might be? Who are you? I don't know you. And, and I'm a Mercedes and Volkswagen commercial vehicle specialist. So the likelihood of me knowing what's wrong with your Ford Mondeo or your BMW. I mean, I get a rough idea, mm. but basically what you just don't want to do is pay for someone to diagnose it. And then we have the diagnosis problem. Free, di I mean, that's, free that's diagnosis. Free diagnosis. I mean, that has always been this. We mm. get that all the time. So, so you bring this in and it doesn't work. So it takes me and him two and a half hours sometimes to figure out why it doesn't work. And then you want to quote fix it, which is fine, but you don't want to pay for the diagnosis, the two and a half hours, to figure out what's wrong with it. Because mm. to be honest, why people seem to think as mechanics that we just charge the time for the part and the fit it. Because to be honest, it's the same again. You broke it. Mm -hmm. And some of it isn't always easy because you're there. I mean, electrical faults are the worst. I, mean, I, I absolutely hate the electrical Paul, stuff. Paul from PDK the other day with a focus with a parasitic drain. How many hours? Oh, I think he was two and a half days in. Jeez. On an 08 plate focus. I had to charge for that. We had it with that Saab, didn't we? We did. Three days of Three our days. lives Three wasted because the Saab flatters its battery overnight. And it is a nightmare to find that type of stuff and how to charge for it. Anyway, I'm moaning now. So we're going to go and I'm going to go and take this camera with me and do some Mercedes limousine based diagnosis, which means it won't talk to me because that's what it does every time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this up in the air. I'm going to disconnect gonna... the battery, put this up in the air. Yeah, and get seeing if you can pull, see that, if I can dent pull that dent out. Yeah, that make me much more popular with Mrs. D. And, um, and then I've got to strip some tyres off. 
Yeah. There's, there's quite a lot of other stuff waiting that I've forgotten about, hasn't there? We've got ongoing jobs. We've got, but we've got lots of ongoing. Yeah, because the Diatsu is on the ongoing. Diatsu is on the ongoing. There's that Capri, some idiot left in here. Who the hell would I do that? Who would buy one of those? It's actually looking really cool. Whoever did that's done a really oh, good I mean, job. Oh, yeah, it's the same medallion man with his to say. I'm going to shave the beard off and just have the most stars. Oh, what well, seventies? Yeah. And you have got to drive along leaning in the boot, like Le- leaning in the boot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm out the. Um, yeah, I'm out yeah, the. Window. No window, yeah, just the top. Just so the everyone top. Everyone can just see your tanned elbow. They'd be like, here comes Fudge in his Capri. In his Capri. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Back to the 80s, right, baby. Right, back to the 80s, baby. Right, let's go and turn the ignition on, on large limousine. So, what we've got is sort of a 2099-2000 WRSTUVW, yeah, 99-2000. So the first of the E320 CDIs. So dubbed before, this would have been a uh, 300 turbo diesel with the 606, and we'd have all bought this just to take the engine out of it. Now this has a 613 in it, which is the say, first of the high-pressure CDIs. Very good engine. Um, something like 215 horse standard, and only 500 foot-pounds of torque assist is from the factory. Now, this one at current, Fudgies make ramp noises in the background, and I'm going to go and turn the blower motor off a minute. Blower motor turned off. This one currently keeps coming up with an EPC fault, which is as far as I can remember. Oh, and that's going again. Hello? Oh, is that a 6, 60 diesel? Indeed it is, fella, yes. Yeah. Is that how? Yes, indeed it is, yep, yep. Well, it is, I've got a problem. I'm Ro- trying to get the uh, EGR valve out of a 646 Merc. Yeah. A few moments later. First, just to see if that all is enough to cure it, all right? Yeah, yeah, marvellous. Thank okay. All right, fella. I shall speak to you later. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See, that's, that's not a problem. We like people. But, um, yes. It's amazing how much time you can lose a day in the nicest of ways, but we're not moaning. Cars. So, E320, E-Class. We're going to end up in HTT win, I reckon. The Spurkin is into something. Mm-hmm. E class. I'll try and bring this round here so that you can follow me a bit. Two ten up to the second ninety-seven. So it's two ten after that. Dash three. It'll be easy if we're in dash and not win. Uh, sedan. Uh, I suppose this probably was. Let's try long chassis. Diesel and right hand steering. Because obviously this thing has been cut in half with a massive amount of stuff. So 220 CDI, 290. Nope, that is not going to do it. All right, let's go back a page. We need a 320 CDI. Let's try it as a sedan. There we go, Uh, 320 CDI. See what happens, are we gonna talk to it? We're going to be us. Paramus has failed socket diagnosis. Yeah, so we lit up. Mm, all right, we might have to try it with the other machine. Why are you not talking to that? We are tethered, aren't we? Yes. C. 
so are we missing a communication wire? Let's do some top quality wiggling here. Right, let's see if that does it. Come on! No, I'm not working on anything else. Just, just go. Yes. Come on. Come on. Talk to me. Oh, no, no, no. Back to that again. Do you have a feeling my C3 multi bingamy jig is playing up? Come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, we might be in. Oh yeah, we're making the techie techie noises. Right. Control units. What problem have we got? Oh. Let's go and take a photograph for the chassis number. <coughs> Diesel injection. And it thinks the ignition switched off. That's not good. The ignition is definitely switched on. Why are you doing that? Let's try it again. Right, right. Here comes the fun, people. So, can we talk to anything else on it? Let's try the electronic selector module just to see if it is. No, so the car is not powering up alive. Right, let's try my K line again. Come on. So that's Mercedes 38 pin, the big round thing, which to be honest you don't use very much these days. Go back one. The trouble is that they get corrosion in the pins and then you get this. So at the moment it's not recognising the ignition turned on. I'm going to go and pull fuses. So after a bit of a swap round, we are just going to try. So there are different types of Mercedes software and different types of multiplexers. So we were trying before with a C3, which should in theory talk to this, but admittedly the C3 has occasionally been playing up recently. Um, this is a C5. So we're opening X entry at the moment. So X entry runs up to basically 2020. I mean, it's still a current program now. There is a C6 multiplexer, but to be honest, I haven't purchased a copy because you can't buy the thing genuine because Mercedes don't sell them to you. So we'll uh, we'll wait for this X entry program to boot up. Hopefully, it doesn't rain too much, and see if it's a communication fault with the machine or whether it's a communication fault with the car. La la la! Come on, X entry! I don't even need X entry, I should have just shortcutted it and opened up DAS. So DAS is the older, so the diagnostic access system. 
and then you've got a program before that for stuff that was like one two fours early sprinters um called htt win or something which is proper old school it's like a dial-up box In here. Oh, more fuses. Let's check those. Let's go and upset it some more by pulling things out. Good. So, blown 7.5 amp fuse. Let's steal a spare one from over here and see if it pops this one straight out. Oh, we had throttle noises. And out she went. So that is going to be the problem. Oh, do you know what, Fudgy? If you was a female, you'd be like the perfect wife. Oh, how lovely. Lovely of things. Okay, I'll put it on top of there. I do love the... Um, so there's me. I mean, I'm never moaning about the people that ring you up. But it, it's I, perhaps why I come from a different world. I mean, I mean, that guy was lovely, don't get me wrong. But he doesn't know me from Adam, so just thought he'd hang me up there. Well, I did tell him how to fix his car. You did? But it did take me 20 minutes. Nice guy. But it's a, it's a new thing, this this sort of YouTube world to me. It's, it can be a tad. Just changes the, the way the world works, doesn't it? It does. It does. What we just need to do is make an absolute fortune out of YouTube. Like that Matt Armstrong fella does. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he seems to be making millions. Not that, not that I begrudge him at all. I mean, what he does is what he does. We're obviously not quite as popular. Perhaps I might need some of them funny earring things and some twatties. Tattoos. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get told off for that when I. Yeah, you'll, you'll, yeah, you'll yeah. get the tattoo brigade. Oh, don't start me on people <laughs> telling me off. To be fair, I've got a few tattoos. Oh, have you? Yeah, the wife's got some. Yeah, basically we had a deal when we first met and we'd been together a while. She was like, I want another tattoo. And I was like, I was like, it's a bit like scribbling and a moustache on the Mona Lisa, darling, isn't it? Apparently that wasn't the right answer. And um, so I always used to, because mechanics, I don't know about you. I mean, I've got reasonable amount of hair these days, but I always have my hair about that long. Because to be honest, all you do is get vast amounts of cag in your hair every day. So if you have short hair, less cack in it, easier. And the fact that I've bashed my head into so many things during my time, that no one look, I mean, I look quite scary. I've got one that goes, I managed to scout myself one day, peel this bit back round here. Yeah, we had the, it was not a blame, the elf, it was the elf and safe, no, well, no, 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 it didn't flop, it just sort of went there. We had the, um, it was years ago when we had the four wheel drive, sort of jack four wheel drive thing, and the health and safety man came round always know it's a bad day when he turns up and we had a mezzanine like all the way around the top of the workshop but it was still fabricated still frame building so he went up the stairs by the office and the top beam when you turn the corner at the top of the stairs was all padded out so if you had butted that one you remembered for the rest of them and the rest of them because you'd have clankered you on the first one we were all yeah so he was like no 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 you can't have that that's dangerous Right, you're gonna have to wrap all the rest of the beams. So there's me and my mate Charlie, got to buy a load of foam, a load of tape, and we're wrapping these beams up. And we had a panel you could take out of the mezzanine, so Charlie's chucking me up sheets of foam up through the thingy, I turn round, don't I? Turn straight through my tongue, Ow. and I literally, oh, bang, and I took the whole lot back round here. Um, half past nine one morning. Well, it was quite a busy day. That was the problem. So I, I went night, night, lights out, came round about thinking, go got up, Charlie was like, you're all right? And I was like, oh, he said, it's a bit. He said, I can see your skull. And I was like, oh, God, here it goes. 
He said, you're leaking quite a bit. It's like, bugger. So, um, but anyway, we had a really busy day. So, using blue roll gaffer tape and cunning, I managed to stick myself back together. So, I found if you got hold of this bit of your head, like, did this, and then I had a big bit of blue roll through here, and then a bit of gaffer tape holding here, and a bit, and it was, was all right. It's a bit drippy when you let forwards. Um, Vinegar but, and brown paper is what you needed out. No, 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 it didn't <laughs> hurt that much. <laughs> but, but every now and again, it would be a bit of a flurry of the clarets all over the place. And anyway, so it was before I had the current Mrs. D. And this was a long time previous relationship. I was attached to a girl called Elizabeth. And we ran up, we had some pubs. And um, anyway, so I managed to make it to like six o'clock that evening, locked the workshop up, went home. Um, drove home, wanted in the pub, and Madam was like, what have you got a very large bloody lump of red, uh, of red blue, with a blue roll that's now red stuck to your head, and gaff tape, and I'm like, well, I bash my head on something and I've got a bit of a cut, and she did that female thing of pulling it all off, and then went, oh my god, I went, really, just, a... <laughs> how bad is it? Oh, it's not bad at all. No, 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 what a funny colour, and then he fell over, so then... And then I had to go and sit in casualty for hours, and they super glued me back together, which was fine. Mm -hmm. So I've got one that goes from there to there. So that, that fixed that. Um, but of course, no hair grows back on them. So it's got quite a... And then, years beforehand, I got impaled in the back. I can't remember how I did it. Well, I've got two huge... I fell on something. Ow. So, so they're pretty impressive. They're here. And then, in 2000... And this was when current Shazbo was here. I um, I was in the workshop at Winterbourne Kingston when we were down there. And I had one of those Freelander things in. I know I'd been collared. Oh. And I had a Freelander on a ramp up here because the timing... No, the, the drive sprocket just fell off the end of the camshaft. Quality Lander product died. Mark II Freelander. We're halfway through it. And anyway, I sort of had it... Because there was always... We never had enough space. I had it up here and then I had something underneath it. And I whipped round the back of it absolutely flat out head butted the exhaust pipe poking out the back ouch yeah i was on my own out i went I was when me woolly hat i hit that bang donk gone came to 20 minutes later i was like oh, oh same again <laughs> um, thought mm, claret report wise nothing hmm. i mean i had my hat on so i assumed that the hat would have obviously have taken the glancing blow and um and because no, nothing had rained down out of me, I didn't bother taking my hat off. I just sort of dusted myself off, bit of headache, on you went for the day. Got home of the evening, because about three days before that, I'd been attacked by an Audi RS4. Like you do. The, well, mine, it was mine, and it broke down. And you know how you have the spiky bonnet thing? Yeah. And I was like that, because it had broken down, and the bonnet blew shut on me and put a big dinker in me head. <laughs> and, um, and then it... Sp I mean, honestly, you'd have thought, I'm out of blood coming out of me. So, anyway... Madame had got, obviously gone home and I was covered and then had had a complete flap over it and, and, and it was like a, a big. And I came in she said, oh, wait, so I've got a bit of an ache because I had butted exhaust this morning and knocked myself out. And she's like, so you decided not to phone up? Well, no, it's actually fine, I'll come to it. It could be concussed and I'm like, well, I haven't died. And she said, how much damage have you done? And I said, well, I don't think I've done any damage because I've had no leakage. You haven't had me take me out off all day. Yeah. Yeah. It soaked into your hat. No, no. Your no, 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 just it didn't leak. Hmm. I'd gone from here right down to there. And it, it, was, it was pretty grim. It was about that wide open. It was like this massive gouge. So um, I was like, uh. <laughs> 10 o'clock at night. Boom of casualty. I was there till 1 o'clock in the morning. So obviously I was covered in shit. Cause and, and then my hair was covered in shit because my hat's been on. I hadn't noticed. My hat had been on and off during the day because I've been lying under things. So some nurse with an attitude got hold of me at 20 past two in the morning and was like, didn't you come straight in? And I was like, no, because I was fine. And you, she said, your hair's very dirty. Fuck you, fuck you. So let me guess, I can get the lecture, and you're going to super glue me back together. So well, these days, what I've taken to doing is super gluing myself back together. Much better. Clean it a bit. Mm -hmm. Sod sort of casualty, save the National Health Service a fortune. I don't need to be down there wasting your time. I can operate super glue. 
Sometimes it's a bit tricky. <laughs> <laughs> but let me finger, see? I mean, I know it's a bit bumpy. Yeah. But years ago, I slipped undoing a crank pulley on an L200 and I chopped the top of that clean off. Ouch. It was a bit dangly. So I had a bit of a douche round it cause, um, with some antiseptic y stuff. Mm -hmm. And a tube of super glue, a bit of gaffer tape. Brand new. Yeah, perfect. I mean, it's a bit lumpy, but no National Health Service time was wasted on that repair at all. Yeah, you didn't get no attitude either. I didn't get any, didn't get told off. Yeah. So, um, so I was, I was quite chuffed with that. And, um, yes. So, so basically, the, anyway, back to the tattoo thing. I agreed with Madam that she wasn't having no more stuff. And then I had to have my hair longer so I didn't look like a hooligan. So, so I haven't looked like a hooligan for, oh God, we've been together a while now, 10 years. Because mm -hmm. um, to say no, I'm not allowed to grade ones. Yeah. And then um, I have to have a fluffy haircut every now and again. And then she doesn't have any more scribblies, even though she keeps going on about scribblies. But I point as soon as the, the inky pen come thingy comes out, mm. back comes your skinhead. So when you get to this sort of stage, She'll be inking oh, herself no, up. Luckily, <laughs> luckily enough, see, my, my family don't recede. We just go grey. No. Not that, I'm, uh, not that I'm suggesting that you are receding there at all. No, 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 no at no, all. You brought all. it up before I did. I did, I did. Because everyone I tells me off for I, talking I, over you and being cruel to you, and I wasn't, wasn't talking no, over you, no. and I wasn't being cruel to you. And when I plugged this fuse in earlier on down here, it made a chirp-chirp noise mm -hmm. from all around here somewhere. And I'm just trying to work out what the electricals are down here running off this circuit. I suppose I could go and get all posh in a minute and get a, get a wiring diagram. But it turns some description. You heard a throttle body chipper mm -hmm. come alive. So, so what's that, like a throttle position sensor thing? Well, the car seems to think that the diagnostic machine thinks the ignition is not turned on. Hmm. So, but I've just poked a seven and a half amp fuse in back in here and it blew it. You heard something chirp and it blew it pretty much straight away. Okay. So, I mean, being professionals, that doesn't mean I'm going to stick a 30 amper in there and <laughs> see how long <laughs> before we can... With a Ripley's can, chewing gum wrapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but it. then we can test to find where the smoke's coming from. Um, Built to be a bit more professional than that. So we got some in running dead short in here but it obviously whatever it is is coming alive and then and then killing it and then popping a seven and a half amp fuse is there another seven and a half amp fuse in the spare ones in there no i'm gonna have nope. to go and find spare fuses no nope. right now we have worked out using a few 7.5 amp fuses that the as soon as the whirring noise from this well flat positioner motor down in here starts it uh, it pops that 7.5 amp fuse in here straight out. Now the, the swell flap control motor seems to work. So. Did it throw that on then? I think it did. It's a fault in the fuse. So we are assuming that this fault is coming from this 12 flat control motor down in here that you can't get. That's it, right. Let's try another 7.5 amp fuse. Is it the motor? No. Right, I'm gonna have to go and consult auto data and see what that fuse over there feeds. Right. Well. We found it after having a bit of a read on the auto data as to what was on there, where have I put it? So basically, it would appear that this little vacuum valve has died. And um you haven't got so many vision, but, um, but basically this is running dead short. Now luckily enough this is a fairly common part, and I'm sure I've got one of these floating around here somewhere. So at the moment that has cured the fact that that basically was just melting itself 
and blowing all the juices. I'm going to go find one of these. So I just need another 7.5 amp fuse and I'll be quite happy. Right, brilliant. So no smoke, no breakages. Perfect. Some strange American thing that us British people don't understand. Diesel right hand steering. It's going to ask me for a chassis number again next, isn't it? Or will it and identify itself now? It's alive. We're getting somewhere, so E320 CDI, very first of them. And are we going to communicate or will we want a chassis number? Here we go, we are alive. Right, fault codes. Uh, we got stored in here a million things. Uh, let's go for stored fault codes first. We'll get rid of all of those. Stored, 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 stored. All of that, I think, from basically having a little, um, it's a, what is it? It's an intake um, pressure sensor or a breather pressure sensor having died. So it's supposed to be this off. I'll be back in a second. Right, here we go. On. Right, do we have any current fault codes? Now we switched it back on. Currently, we are fault code clear. 
let's go back and what we will do while we're here is go on the Mercedes star machine you go quick test and it do does do does every single module on the vehicle so we'll just go through every module on the vehicle check that we haven't got any faults anywhere else and then put it back together and go for the test drives working out of limp mode feel felt changed also because it was offending me i have changed the broken off mercedes star on the bonnet because i have a box load of them and you do need your merc aiming device on the front so that now revs up whereas it didn't before so crankcase breather valve died caused all that trouble new fitted Look at that, lovely. Better than the broken off one before. And what we're gonna do now, test drive. Right, here you go, some test driving. And getting some lunch at the same time. Da 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 da. Blimey, this thing is like driving a boat. I have got a funky hat that Nelly wears whilst driving it, but I don't think it's really me. Because he's got quite a good sense of humour when it comes to roaring around in his ex-funeral limousine. Seatbelt, because everyone tells me off not wearing a seatbelt. And we've even got one of them of these. Look at that, in that posh. For that bit of privacy when you need it. Right, let's back this barge out of here and hopefully they should now go fast. If any of you lot want an appreciating classic and a good daily driver, I like these um, E320 W210s. They are all starting to disappear. You can find one that isn't rusty, because they did like a bit of rusting. They're a really good, fast, comfy car. Oop. Yeah, you'll have to wait for me, Mr. Mini. Right. Oh, yes, we have the power, don't we? We are off. <laughs> Come on, in your Volvo. Don't think I really carry quite the right sort of limousine driver look, do I? Woolly hat. Grubby hoodie. Be alright. I won't go past the church because that'll upset everyone. Big Mac. Yes, boost. We are off. No, ooh, better not be too far off because we'll um, upset the speed camera people. Blimey, she did just hook out a big cloud of black smoke there. It's going to take her a bit of a time to rev up and come round, isn't it? Remember to stick to the 30 limit. Because I'm going to just put the cruise control on, can I? Oh, yes, cruise control works. Cruising in the 30s. Accelerate, then we can go up to the 40s, can't we? Let's hold it. Let's do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on, come on. Up you go. Up to 40. That'll do. Right. Tap back to get rid of it. And give her the yeehaws. Get rid of some smoke. Come on, yes, that's getting rid of some snot, isn't it? Can't see the road behind me. 
Good job we're not looking behind. I reckon this thing's been in limp mode for about eight months. It's going to take it a bit of a time to come around. Right. Oh, Teddy Bush! Oh, my camera's gone. Sorry guys, I gave you too much of the yeehaws there and everyone fell over. Right, uh, let's just bring that around here a minute. And we are off again. Right, give it the yeehaws. Oh, we're all clearing up. Mickey all clearing up. Big cloud of black smoke. Yeah, I'm getting rid of a load of soot, aren't we? 17. <laughs> Just bumping along behind Mr. Lenham storage. It's like this safe braking distance thing that no one seems to take any notice of these days. Why everyone insists on sitting an inch off of everyone else's bumper. Like, I know this man is limited to 56 mile an hour in his big lorry, so he's going as fast as he can, look. And there's no point me, charring myself, an inch off the back of him, and then going like this all the time, like they like to do. Because you're not getting anywhere, are you? And if he decides to stop, He's got the big air brakes and lots of tyres on the road. He's probably going to stop faster than the idiot sat an inch behind him because they think they need to be going at twice the speed. Hang back. You can see better to overtake whilst hanging back as well. I don't know what happened to driving in Britain. Impatient bunch of idiots most of the time. I mean, I'm all right. Everyone probably thinks I'm on the way to a funeral. Might hang off and be a bit respectful. Hang on a minute, we'll see what happens with the man in the white golf GTI wedging himself up my arse at the moment. No, yeah, no, he has just stuck himself right to my back bumper. No braking distance, no brain. Because he's obviously going to come whipping past me. I think it actually might be a Polo GTI in a minute to get stuck behind the lorry in front of me because he hasn't got a brain. Well, let me say, mate, he is on his limiter. He is doing his 56 mile an hour flat out. He's on the 90 kilometres. Right, we'll let the man in the polo go. I'm going in here and he can go and tailgate the man from Lenham Stories. That'll really cheer his day up for him, won't it? The polo driving, bean brained idiot. Go on, on you go. That's it, you can go fast now, look. Not. <laughs> Oop. Right, lunch. Right, transit. Done. And we've also done the strange things that people never do on MOTs. We did the so advisories. We did the we? advisories. So when they put repair as soon as possible, that doesn't mean ignore it for another 12 months till it falls off next time. So uh, we haven't done the windscreen, but that's fine because that's, that's up to them. Um, so we've done the two anti-roll bar. Bushkies. Bushkies. And the lower arm. Indeedy. Brum. And this is an amazing vehicle, because this... You better make sure he's not in gear, actually. I'll oh, you were about to make me but... drive into stuff. This <laughs> is a 2.2 front-engine transit with 214,000 miles on the original engine. And it Aye. still works. And it's not smoky, it's not clanky. It's actually nice for a transit. It's just because you were a Ford lover, isn't it? It's just because you were a Ford lover. Right, I'm going to go and move my big black funeral car that I've now officially finished. <laughs> yes. And find somewhere to park that around the village. You almost look like a pimp driving. Well, we down could the find road. a nursing home or somewhere to go and park <laughs> it out of just to remind <laughs> them, can we? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> they won't like us. No one else will like us for that.
It's like full Volkswagen wheels. Problem with them is, you can see it here. See the little oxidizations under the paint all the way around? There's loads of them. And the things basically let themselves down. Another one, another one there where the paint's all lifting off, basically, so the air tracks through underneath between the paint and the alley oxidization. I mean, that one's been cleaned up once, but they want some love. So we'll send them off to Silver Wheels and they can make them look beautiful. And don't comment about me needing a new tyre machine. To be honest, our tyre machine normally does diesel steel van wheels. It's good at that. Doesn't like the big shiny alley wheels. And I don't do big shiny alley wheels. So they're easy enough to remount. Just do for mom, so that's fine. We'll get that done. And then um, we'll drop them down and get them redone. Right. So it is half past five. Yeah. Official going home time. Well, yep. well, I'm going home at sensible time this evening because I've been here to nine o'clock most nights this week and last week and I'm tired. And I've got to edit that and put it on a day late. And mm -hmm. everyone will get all upset. You've uh, straightened that piece of seal beautifully. Thank you very much. You did a much better job than I did with my big hammer and my bit of chain, <laughs> didn't I? I didn't want to think you were a professional much. No, I've still That's got right. a little bit more to go. Obviously I'm a yeah, bit. I'll, I'll check the paint code in the boot. I've got them wheels loaded up. Everything is here for it. So we'll get Madame's Chariot, which has got to pull the headlights and sort them out because they have gone really opaque. You can hardly see in the dark with the thing now. Yeah, yeah, we'll flatten them back. Might have a look see if there's an upgrade for it. She does moan. They are rubbish. Honestly, they are awful. They I think that's got to be a thing with modern day cars, actually, because most of my modern day cars that I've had, the, yeah. sh the lights have been absolutely Short. shocking. Yeah, that amount <laughs> is crap. Mm. Um, but I don't understand why, unless you get the blue ones that you know they've got now, where you can, no one can see at oh, all. Oh, you blind, blind yeah, the, people the, coming the, towards the, you. Yeah, the posh new ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, less moaning. Right. Well, that's basically a day in it. So we've done yeah. parts. L no parts crafters transits MOT'd and done. Mm -hmm. It's done back for its retest. Come back again. The Mercedes is MO, the, the funeral wagon is MOT'd and done. She's ready yeah. to rock and roll. Um, this is in a million pieces. I yeah. ascertained what turbo I needed for that, bought it, so that's on the way. Yeah. Strip the wheels for this, put them in the back of that. We have all the service parts here, and I've done something else, but I can't remember what it was. I went and got lunch as well. You went and got lunch. So, um, so anyway, that's a day in the life of 60 diesels. Yeah. Thank you very much, people. Uh, fudge. It's not very exciting. Yes. But... Day in the life, isn't it's a, it? It's a day in the life. Day yeah. in the life. Day in the life. Do do. I'm going to go and get some more biscuits. I need more biscuits. 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 <laughs>